there's a significant improvement that we are able to achieve using electromobility. With electromobility, we can actually take the systems and compare it to the internal combustion engine or the conventional systems that we run today in our machines to you know, achieve greater efficiency. That efficiency isn't just the fact that we use an electric motor, but it's how we apply that technology. With electrification, we can decouple. We can move everything around. We can change the way that the, the machine actually runs. That decoupling also enables something more. It's modularity. We can actually change then the architecture of the machine because the, thing, the things are not linked. These subsystems we can now optimize individually and then together we have greater efficiency in the machine. But with the LX1, we took the electric motors and put them in the wheel hubs where the tires are at. That's not new, but because they're not linked, we were able to change the frame of the machine. And when we change the frame of the machine, there's no axles in the machine. When we change that, we were able to move the loading unit where the bucket sits, move that back closer to the center of the machine. So we can actually lift more or produce more with a smaller machine. We then add energy storage, we reduce the size of the engine, and we electrify the hydraulic system. So there's small electric motors that are propelling the hydraulic system. The combination of that has allowed us to improve the fuel efficiency of the machine that produces at the same rate by 50%.